Hello you guys, welcome back to another video. I'm feeling a little riled up right now because I just shared an Instagram post about unsolicited mama advice. So if you guys wanna hear my opinions on that, go to my latest photo. But I just got a couple comments in the past few days and it's just like getting to me and I hate that it's getting to me, but I just wanted to dress it and move forward. So yeah, Rocky really wants his camera right now. He's kind of dying at the fact that I'm not letting him hold it. But I wanted to start off with another playroom update, which I know you guys, it's like all I'm talking about now, but I feel like I simplified it. Last night I did a toy rotation. I took out a lot of the furniture that I didn't feel like really fit. And I feel like it's looking a lot better. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. And then from there, I don't know that I'm gonna like talk about it again until it's done because I feel like I've been annoying with how much I've vlogged about this playroom. The only way I'm able to film this right now is if he plays with my phone, so don't judge. It's okay, Bubby. Okay, so first things first is I hung up the canopy and I feel like it ties in a lot more of the rust color, especially with me moving the couch over here. I feel like it looks like a good balance. I'm gonna get a bookshelf right here that is made of like natural wood to get these off the ground. And then I'll show you really quick but I have a print to hang above it. This is all rotated and I feel like it's looking better. I do think I'm gonna move these closer and down a little bit, but for now it's staying like that. And then I moved the nugget over here and then this is kind of coming at an angle which kind of like takes up a lot of space but I feel like it allows him to crawl through and pull himself up and that thing. And then he's been really loving a mirror lately and like kissing himself. So I do think I'm gonna get a mirror and still do pull-up bars there. And then over here, I'm not really sure. But also I saw your guys' comments to get a rug. <laughs> Rocky boy. And I think that'll help too. Okay, I need to tend to him. Hey, why are you so mad? What, you want the camera? Okay. Nathaniel keeps making fun of me because he thinks that Rocky doesn't match. You guys are curious, this is why I don't vlog sometimes. I see that you're upset. We cannot play with the camera, okay? Would you like to play with a toy instead? Hey, you're pulling mama's hair, can you let go? All done. All done, yeah, all done. All right, I just prepped Rocky's lunch. With him on my hip, I feel like that is just life. <laughs> but he's having raspberries. Would you like some more? Okay, let's move this. He's having raspberries. I'll kneel. String cheese. Couldn't wait on the string cheese. Those potato veggie bites that we made last week, I'll leave the recipe down below. And hummus, as always. Nathaniel is going to have his lunch in a second and he's gonna help me feed Rocky. And then I think we're gonna get out of the house because I think we're both going a little stir crazy here. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna leave. Maybe just go to Target or something and walk around. I don't know, are you hungry? Are you ready to eat? Yeah, let's eat. Nathaniel rescued me, he is doing lunch with Rocky. Rocky's still yelling at me. <laughs> do you want more, buddy? Good job. Okay, I'm going to make a meal really quick. I don't know if Rocky's gonna let me talk without him yelling at me, but long story short, sister-in-law and brother-in-law had a baby. We're doing a meal train. I set it up so that they could have dinners multiple nights, and we're starting it off. So I'm making her Ritz chicken, which is not a very healthy meal, but it is a very hearty and just like feel-good meal. It's what I had postpartum. I grew up eating it. And it's what she requested, so I'm gonna make that really quick and then we're gonna leave because Rocky needs to get outside and so do I. If any of you guys are curious, this is how you make it. So it's just two chicken breasts shredded. You add in a cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and then it's normally sour cream, but we just have plain Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna do like a heaping like scoop. You mix that all together and then put it in a pan and then you top two sleeves of Ritz just like broken up melted butter over top, and then it's normally poppy seeds, but I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use everything but the bagel. And then you throw it in the oven at, I think it's 375 for like 30 minutes, and serve it over rice, and it's seriously so good. I lied, there's no cream of mushroom. Just cream chicken and sour cream. Let's see what the Hey, do you want some more? <laughs> you want some more? Do it farther back. You want some more? <laughs> Sorry, you're okay. Yeah. Rocky. 
<laughs> do it to you really quick. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go to Fry's. It's literally like around the corner. Simply one, to get out of the house, and two, to just get like a disposable tin for that dinner tonight so that way they don't have to clean anything. And if you guys have a family member or friend that just had a baby, I highly suggest doing this. It is so nice to not worry about dinners and just have the extra hand in that sense. I like am instantly brought back to postpartum and I had a lot of people drop over meals for us as well and it was so nice. So yeah, anyways, we're just gonna leave and walk around. I'm probably gonna just like cruise down every aisle because I feel like Rocky really likes being in stores. It's like a huge like sensory thing for him and it typically goes well. So hopefully this will be good and then we'll come back and play in the playroom and then he'll go down for a nap and then I'll have help shortly. Really quick, I wanted to chat about something my sister-in-law and us were talking about the other day and that is just like always feeling the need to get out of the house to entertain your kids and kind of entertain yourself too. I always wanna get out every single day and I feel like Rocky does better when he's been out for at least like an hour or two. And the days that I don't leave the house, I feel like super guilty, like that I didn't do anything fun for Rocky. But I'm trying to remind myself right now of the conversation I just had with her and how that's how they just like learn to play on their own at their house and not get bored and I just feel like it's super good for kids to get bored. It's good for them to use their imagination and be creative with what they have at home. But I can't do it without struggling a bit because I just feel, I feel bored. So I'm like, Rocky has to feel bored. But yeah, anyways, little rant, but my trip for fries feels very lame <laughs> for Rocky. I told you guys I was gonna share the poster that I'm gonna put into his nursery or in his playroom. I don't know why I always mix those two up. But I showed this a while back when I got the print, but I finally framed it. So this is the little poster I'm going to add by the canopy and then I'm gonna get a wood bookshelf as well. I just wanted to touch on playroom updates. I'm not gonna share anything else like in detail until I am fully done with it and I will do like a playroom tour. But if you guys wanna see all the little things that I add, I will update on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. But yeah, I just feel like I've been talking so much about the playroom and I just need to kind of stop. So I'm gonna get myself another cup of coffee because I feel like I've been complaining in this video and I don't want you guys to ever think that I'm like complaining about my life. Like, I love my life, I love my son but I'm tired, so I'm gonna get a cup of coffee and then I'm gonna share with you guys my plans for the downstairs. And again, I know I'm a broken promise with all the things I wanna do, but I am going to measure everything out today so that way we can pick up wood sometime this week and then hopefully start the projects over the weekend. So let's do that. You done chewing? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even know I was doing it. In my ear too. Okay, I want to finish the downstairs. We okay. have talked about projects so much, and so I want to just like start downstairs. That's where we're at the most, and then go upstairs. So I have solidified what I think would look good, and I just want your opinion on it. Okay. And I wanted to share. So the first one is the island, which I've said for the longest time. I'll pop up photos for you guys. I want to do that wood all the way from this side and wrap it around to this side. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Like Original plan? Do, yeah. The other one, sorry, I'm just gonna film you, is this, which we've talked about. 
In our bedroom or down No, here? remember no, we're, we're just, we're just doing just downstairs. Down okay. See how well he listens, <laughs> folks. <laughs> okay, I, it's because I talked about the bedroom. I get Show it, him the but um, I'll pop it up on the screen. Oh. But I want to do that, like from this little wall, all the way around to this wall. It'll kind of like close off, as in like it'll tie in this space as like one space. Okay. But just like I want the paneling all you don't want to do one around first, like this wall first, nope just to make sure we're gonna just do it all I just want to do it all well we can of course start over here see how it looks but I, I have a feeling I'm gonna want to just stretch it all the way to here okay. and then I want to frame the windows too so like use the wood yes. and put it around them to make that look a little bit more grand this is my photo Ooh, inspo for nice. the hallway yeah. so I want to do that from this wall all the way to this wall but then only do like the pegs like right here and do like a mirror on top and then maybe just like, oh, sorry, photos that way. Okay. Does that make sense? So this is like a landing station here. I literally, your toenail went into my heel. <laughs> but like right here would be- Show me the picture again. The landing area. So the picture is just, do you know what I'm okay. saying? So, so like we could hang bags. Pegs, just you're saying right there. Yeah. And then maybe just stop the pegs, but the whole thing's gonna be a shelf. Gotcha. And what then, about like stuff hanging over the light switch? We'll cover it probably. I mean, this light is controlled. Was well, that gonna bother you? Or no? Here. Oh, okay. It's controlled over there. Like, okay. there's three okay. ways yeah, to turn that light on. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, one. Yeah, and down there. Two. Yeah. I don't know why there's so many. I turn off the camera. Nathaniel said it's a lot of work, but he wants or he likes it. But I feel like it's not a lot of work. It just seems like a lot of work. Well, it's just we the learning curve. Right. We so. don't know how to do it. Yeah. And then the other thing I wanted to tell them, not you, is I want to get a door that has windows, like um, rectangle windows, because our hallway is always so dark right now. It's light because the it's window so dark straight back in my now. office. Yeah. I don't know if they can really tell. Yeah. But it's towards the end of the day, so the light is coming on this side of the house, so it brightens up the hall a little bit. But for most of the day, this hall is so dark and I just feel like a window, a door with windows on it would help a ton and it would just make it look more grand. But yeah, thank you. Yeah, I don't know, those are my plans. I wanna start with the island and I'm gonna measure it out right now. And like I said, hopefully we can get wood this week and do the project on the weekend. This deadline is gonna be overzealous, but I want to have all three of those done by the time we have Rocky's birthday party here, which is August 28th and it is July 12th. My goal is to have it done by August 28th, all those projects. All of them? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So I know that it's not gonna happen, but if I have to recruit help, I'm going to because I don't think it'll happen if I don't ask for help because Nathaniel only has Saturdays and Sundays off and we have a child so that would mean we would only really have like his naps and after he goes to bed to work on it but if i asked for help i could get help during the week doing it so that's the goal but yeah i'm really excited about it i really want our house to feel like super just not cookie cutter and very custom to us and i've thought about what i want to do with this space for a long time and have not acted on it and all of those images have been something i've loved for the longest time and i still love them so i think they're gonna look Super good. Okay, I changed into my comfy clothes because those jeans are not comfy, but I got this bralette from Target this past week and it was $7 and it's seriously so flattering and so comfortable. And then I finally got the Lulu Lemon Align biker shorts in six inches and I love them so much. I feel like they're like the perfect length. They don't make me feel like they're too short or too long. And this has just been my go-to just like comfy outfit and I am digging it. I feel like I wasn't really a biker short kind of person. I don't really feel like I have the legs for it, but honestly, I'm just trying to go with it. And I think for me, I need to wear like crops with it, not baggy shirts. That is definitely not flattering on my body type, but yeah, comfy cozy. I'm gonna relax until Rocky wakes up and I'll pick up the camera there. How many freaking times did I just throw a peace sign? up in the air. Do you guys remember the days Rocky liked the camera? Sorry, I forget them. Rocky took like an hour nap and I'm convinced it's because I haven't done anything with him today like I was kind of saying earlier. But we are just finishing preparing. Um, we're gonna finish preparing the meal, bring it over to his brothers and then 
I think we're making steak fried rice, which I'm pretty sure I filmed that the last time. I think I just end up vlogging on the same days and we normally have the same things on the same days. But why do you keep throwing it? Huh? Go get it. Good job. Get the camera. Are you gonna climb? We can show them how you can climb the stairs now. Do you want to do that? Come on, come get it. Bubby, come here. Come get the camera. Good job. There you go. Good job. Mama's going to put it higher, okay? Good job. <laughs> Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know in there Super random, but I'm driving to drop off the food and I can see like all the damage from the storms we had this weekend. We had two nights of really bad storms on Friday night and Saturday night and we lost power and like a lot of just like the trees are broken and there's trampolines like in the streets and stuff, but um, the only thing that happened, yikes, the only thing that happened to us was we lost our recyclable trash can, like the huge thing that you put all of your recyclables into. We have no idea where it went. Um, I'm pretty sure it flew up and away or someone stole it. And I don't think anyone would have stole it. So I'm pretty sure the storm took it, but now we don't have a recyclable bin. <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna have to figure that out. All right, this is what is on the menu for tonight. Like I said, we made uh, fried rice, so this time it has steak in it. And then Rocky is eating chicken with cream cheese. We found out yesterday he really likes rice and then strawberries. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Forty-one. Rocky's down. We cleaned up the kitchen as you saw and it's just been a long day and I feel like My energy's gone. I feel like I always like vlog super well during the day and then towards the end of the day it just like ends because the energy's gone and Yeah, Nathaniel and I have been like bickering too. So it's just been I feel like we're both just tired and it's been a long day. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It was literally just me showing the day, which I hope you guys like that because I feel like I always have to have a theme, but I'm just gonna keep vlogging. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.